Hello everyone. Welcome to another Pro Tools Tips and Tricks tutorial brought to you by Pro Media Training. In this video, we're going to take a look at some advanced workflow and shortcut features using the Grabber tool. This is a continuation of our previous video that introduced you to how the Grabber tool works. We've previously discussed the fundamental aspects of the Grabber tool. Now let's take a look at some shortcuts you can use to help you with your workflow. The first shortcut is the Option key. If you hold down the Option key, while clicking and dragging with the Grabber tool, it allows you to make a copy of the clip information. This works whether you're using the time-based grabber, the separation, or the object grabber. The next shortcut is the control key. One of the drawbacks of moving clip information between tracks is that you can easily throw off the timing, especially when you're working in slip mode. So if you first select the clip, then hold down the control key, and drag it between tracks, it locks it in time. Notice it won't let it move left or right. Now this function can also be utilized for clip movement. Let's say I have my insertion point right here in time, and I want to move the beginning of this clip right here to start exactly where this cursor is. Well, using the grabber tool, first hold down control, then click on the clip you want to move, and notice how it snapped the beginning of that clip to that insertion point in time. Now you can combine this function along with the option key to do something such as that, where it made a copy of this clip and it moved the beginning of it to the beginning of the selection on the previous clip. So that's actually utilizing two shortcuts at the same time. Keep in mind that these shortcuts apply to all type of clip information, whether it's audio, MIDI, or video clips. I can use the option key to make copies. I can use the control key to lock something in time so it doesn't move, or I can use the control key to move another clip in time so that way it aligns with another clip on a different track. It only makes sense that if you can align the beginning of a clip, you should also be able to align the end of a clip. So if I want to take this clip right here and align this endpoint to the beginning of this selection right here, I'm going to hold down Control and Command at the same time. And that will allow you to move and align the end of a clip to the selection in time. One last thing you can do is you can align what's called a sync point. A sync point is a definition in time within a clip. You first Put your cursor where you want to define the sync point. You go to the clip menu and identify sync point. It drops this little upside down triangle in time where your cursor was. Now you can use this as an alignment point. So if I want to take this clip and move its sync point to align to the beginning of the selection on this clip, I'm going to hold down Control and Shift at the same time and move these clips to where the alignment happens at the sync point within the clip, not the beginning or the end. As before, you can actually combine shortcuts. So if you throw in the Option key along with Control and Shift, it not only moves the clip to align the sync point, it also makes a copy of it as it moves. Check out our website, ProToolsTraining.com for upcoming class dates and more tip and trick tutorials like this.